I think being young is fun. They enjoy every moment. And at the end of the day, we talk about UMass Lowell Field Hockey. And yes, we want to win. But at the end of the day, we want to love the game. I mean, I obviously wanted success. I knew Bentley won a national championship before I took the program over. So I said, huh, if Bentley can do it, then we can too. Did I think it was going to happen that we would be playing for one in three years? No, absolutely not. Did I think we'd win one? It's my first recruiting class of senior year? No. You ready for this? Yeah! What you've been working for for the last six months, for the last year, for the last two years, so when you step off this bus, we're all business. We found the right group. It was a small group and we set the foundation early on of just committing to excellence and I think honestly that's what set us apart. This is the best season UMass Lowell has seen in history, absolutely without question. We need to come out strong, we need to come out fast. We came here for one thing, to win it, all right? We need to be an attacking team. All 11 of us on attack, all 11 on defense, okay? So let's do it. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. Let's go. Here we go. No regrets. No regrets. Here we go. Exactly. No regrets. We got everything on the field. All the way back. Ready UMass Lowell has its mind on revenge. And they draw first blood. In the eighth minute, the team's leading scorer strikes. Sarah Hohenberger gives the Riverhawks a 1 0 lead. Bloomsburg's Jan Hutchinson has a record 501 wins to her name. Could number 502 be slipping away? Her Huskies stay on the attack. The Lowell's Nicole Stady has things covered. At the half, the Riverhawks have the lone goal. We know you're tired. It's going to be all heart. It's going to be who wants it more. Yep, and absolutely. I have a feeling already after the first half, it's you. So now See, you just have to go out and prove it. Okay, this is a disgrace to them. I'm not going to lie. They are just horrified with themselves that they let up one goal. Okay, but we're pumped up and we're not done. This yes. is well within our reach. It is ours to keep going. Oh, oh, ours to go. In the second half, Bloomsburg keeps up the pressure, but Stady is still up to the task. With just under seven minutes remaining, the Huskies finally break through. Mary Beth Brezina knocks the game at one, and we're heading to overtime. Can't play. You gotta play with composure. We have them. All right? It's a new game. It's zero. It's one one. It's zero zero. Because we can do this. It's all on the line now. Let's get it done. One, two, three. Way to go! Both teams have their chances, but neither can capitalize. The tension mounts. Another overtime period beckons. You guys enjoy this. You have run it out for two overtimes playing for a national championship. A national championship. And when you step back out on the field, I want you to feel it. Okay, I want you to imagine what it's going to feel like to win this game. Okay, and do what you need to do to get it done. Lowell answers their coach's challenge. In the 92nd minute, Joanna Deleuze nets the golden goal. Lowell clinches its first ever field hockey title. As one streak begins, another ends. Bloomsburg falls short in its quest for four in a row.